one of the first things that we had to decide was like, what kind of style do we want for our game? What's, what's the aesthetic? What's the feel? Um, how is our game different? How is our game better? Um, you know, that influences the art style. And so my job was, you know, and when you're with a small team, uh, a really small team, everybody's got opinions on what it should be, what it has to be. This could only be this way, you know? And I think my job was almost like a translator. Um, here's what I think that this person likes. Here are the games that they're playing. Here are the things that they really like about those games. Um, here is a list of similarities between all of those games. Here are the problems that we're having, I think. You know, do you agree with this? And then listing out those different games. I think we went anywhere from like all of our competitors, mobile games, um, HD games, you know, popular games, games where people really don't complain too much about the UI, <laughs> uh, which is a good thing that they, they probably like something about it. And then um, from that part, you know, it's, um, I, you know, give those pieces. It's like a pieces of, of a puzzle to Kiko and then uh, just let her work her magic. Yeah, Vin gave me all the tools. He's like, here you go. <laughs> it was wonderful. It's like a <laughs> library of all the goodies, you know, that's out there uh, with the current trends and, you know, it, which, which is like wonderful because I'm like full-time mom, you know, whatever games I see is whatever my son's playing, uh, which is a lot, but um, um, different mediums too. But yeah, um, getting, you know, like, just like Vin said, like getting, you know, sort of like all the latest trends um, with usability, you know, um, like innovation, all that stuff is important um, into making this because we obviously want our game to feel like it's fresh, um, you know, that it's contemporary um, it, and it resonates with the people playing it right now um, at home, especially because pe most people are at home. <laughs> um, so um that was super important and um you know vin's like the consummate gamer he does a ton of research and has like this vast knowledge um that i can i went ahead and just kind of looked at everything else so a lot of the ui that i look at are like simple things like you know how my microwave ui looks like or what my you know um, toaster oven UI looks like, or, you know, even like I'll look at the dashboard of my car when I, when I leave, you know, once in a blue moon to go somewhere. Um, and that's what I'm inspired by. So really catering to people, you know, who may not play a ton of games all the time, um, but will be super stoked to play our game, you know, this game, because it has an element, you know, that's a little bit more casual um, than the original Banglory. And um, I think that's the kind of stuff that would be appealing to new players. Familiarity, like the, what we were talking about, like iconography that's you know, not game specific, but familiar to people who don't play games or play other types of games. Um, so I really focus on that. And as far as like aesthetics concerned, that's just really trends again, you know, looking to see what's popular now. Like I, I keep thinking like what was popular 20 years ago might be popular again today, you know? So it, like, it brings a smile to my face because I can be like, oh yeah, okay, <laughs> I understand that, you know? Um, so yeah, that, that was it with aesthetics. Um, doing the, re the research was really helpful too, to see, you know, what the actual players were thinking too, you know, what resonated with them, you know, getting those kinds of ideas is like, like super important. Um, I like getting input from, you know, a wide range of people, like representation matters, right? People come from different backgrounds and look at different things, look at different apps. So getting that feedback was like super, super um, helpful too. Yeah, and, and, and Kigo's bring up like a really good part of um, like the marketing research that we received and like the tools that we use. Um, so we don't just, you know, put something up and then like hope that it works. We actually took pieces of all the ideas for the UI and then we test them. We make different models. Like what if we put this button here? What if we put this different icon on this button? What if we change the color? What if we change the background color? <laughs> this background is like a huge thing <laughs> for our team of like, you know, how they wanted the game to, to feel. And, and, you know, for me, it's figuring out like what's gonna work, what's gonna really um, make things click. Um, so um, we got different rounds of testing, different feedback we saw 
you know, different um, people that were helping us out and figuring out what really resonated with them. And it really changed the way that we started putting things together. And then once we had all the pieces that we knew would be successful, it was more testing those pieces out with the style and the art and the, the feel that we wanted in the, in the last round.